Hi all, it's Kylie from Kylie's Cardcraft. Thanks for joining me again today. Welcome back. And I'd like to give you an update of some wonderful hauls that I've found over the last two, three weeks. Um, needed to do this now because I want to start using them. And that's my problem. I tend to use them before I show. So I'm going to start with the books. Now, these have all been from op shops, markets, antique shops, just wherever I've been traveling in the last three, four weeks. And it's all been locally. Um, found this little beauty, which is Signal Training Volume 2, Part 2, 1937 Supplement. Now, I got this for $2. Yes, it's in really bad nick. That's fine, because what I wanted was what was inside. And what is inside are these amazing things for signal training. Look at this. So each one of these are more sheets. Yes, some sheets have been taken out, maybe for, I don't know, privacy reasons. Who knows? But look at these. Won't these just be so awesome in journals? And look at the colours. They're crunchy. They're, they've just got the most beautiful colours to them. And the grids. I love grids. Look at these. And it's just full of them. Oh, just so wrapped when I found this. And, yeah, $2. So I'm obviously going back to front. But anyway, so that's what this one was. As I said, full of them. So I was, and there's more. Oh, yes, look at that. I was going back to front. <laughs> so the War Office, 31st of December, 1937. So this was done in 36 and reprinted with the permission of the controller, His Magistri Majesty's Stationery Office, London. By authority, Modern Printing Co. Proprietary Limited, Melbourne. It's just, ah, oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. This is just such my type of book. And they're sewn in, so I can get them out nice and easy. Number one. Number two was one I found at a market last weekend. Spotlights, I don't know if that's all in frame. Spotlight Stories for Girls. Look at this. It is a very big book, and I probably won't... I don't know, I may use it as a journal later on once it's been um, gutted, maybe. The reason I can gut it and feel not too bad about it is that it's missing all this front section. So it starts on page 13. So when they're like that and they're not complete, I don't feel bad about using them. I did look it up last weekend when I came home. I paid $5 for this. The only other copy I found was $35. Um, I looked on my, you know, the Google app type thing. And it was from the 40s. So, but look at the illustrations. Aren't they beautiful? So, some of this will go into my paper packs that I have on Kofi. Some of it I will be using, quite a lot of it I'll be using actually, because there is so many pages there. Again, it's got this beautiful, beautiful colour around the edges. Some full page illustrations. And what have we got? 381 pages, printed in Czechoslovakia. It is just beautiful. And really apart from that front section, in fairly good nick. So really happy with that one. Another one was from a market yesterday. Another book, the last of the books that I've got. And this is Francis Perry, Flowers of the World. Um, which is that? So it's not that old. Not that old at all. I haven't as yet had a chance to look this one up. Um, do I have a date? 1972. So I suppose these days that's old, isn't it? That's sad. Mm. But look at these. Can you see these? So some of these I will use, I will cut out, I'll make envelopes out of. Some of them I will fussy cut because they are just, 
Look at this. Look at these. How awesome. I love flower books. I really love... I'm not a gardener. I can't keep anything alive. I definitely do not have a green thumb. I'm not my mother. I'm not my grandmother who can get anything to grow, both of them. I am me and I love the books. <laughs> but look at, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? So it's just full of that and they're matte. It's not a shiny page which was the other thing. As soon as I see flower books, I tend to pick them up and I'll have a look inside to see what the pages are like, apart from the illustrations, but for whether they're matte or gloss. And these are a matte. Oh, yeah, they're a matte. They're, they might have a little bit of satin to them, but nothing that's going to, you know, show up too much. And I'd say it's had pressed leaves or something in there. And I may find more as I go through. So those were my book hauls. Now we'll go into the op shop hauls and then we'll go into the antique hauls. Um, this one, yes, and I've had these before and I found them again yesterday. They're a little thank you card, but the reason I get them because it cost me 50 cents. They're very easy to change the front of this card and to put something on there. They're blank on the inside. They go in signatures really, really well. But my favorite bit about them is the size of the envelopes. I love this size envelope. Most of my journals, as you know, are slightly smaller. They're not that, um, whatever size it is, five by seven and a half or eight by whatever they are, which are most of the A4 sizes or the letter sizes folded in half. I very rarely do those size um, journals. I do smaller ones. So my smaller envelopes and these four inches by five and a quarter. They are just such a perfect size to give me texture and dimension and everything inside my journals. So really wrap with that. As I said, I've had these guys before and nearly used all the envelopes already. So that's those ones. Oh, hang on, we'll go to the, go to these. I came across these. I love these. These are from Dark Room Door and they're the montage sheets that Rachel used to do. I'm assuming Dark Room Door will still be doing all these. Um, but, and funnily enough, I had just gone through mine and put some of the ones that I know I won't use aside for friends. Um, so when I saw this, I went, oh, look, because I won't use these ones as much. But when I undid it, because they were all in a rubber band, the whole lot for a dollar, right, that one I will use. So this one I will give to friends, and that'll actually go up there today. Look at that. And the other week I, oh, I didn't put them here. I don't know where they are. Um, also purchased at a market another Stamperia paper pad in that Oriental one that they had a while ago. So just the little eight by eight, that will work in so well with it. Again, these black and white ones, the place ones, the New York one, they'll go to friends. The sea themed ones I will definitely use because these will go in, go beautifully in little travel journals. And I love them. Uh, the London one, yeah, probably not. I may use some of those, but I doubt it. They make great journal cards this size. Remember, all these for a dollar. So I've got all of these ones, and that one again I will give to friends. And I'm fairly certain that was one of the ones that I put aside. But for a dollar, I'm happy for those. Really happy. So that was those. Right, now, look, look, look. I found these. Aren't these beautiful? I paid two dollars for them. They were originally in Myers for a dollar seventy-five, and then they were marked down to a dollar, and now I've picked them up for two dollars. Are you ready for this? I got two packets of these. Look at these! Look at these fine, fine hankies. Won't they look beautiful, tucked in pockets? So yes, they probably they're going to need a wash. There's a few little markings on them. I will 
carefully washed them. They've been packaged away. Packaged, wow. Packaged away forever. Um, and there's a few little marks on them. So I, they will have a wash and then they will go into journals, tucked into pockets, etc. But aren't they beautiful? So that was one packet. The original packet I came across, move that other band, was this one. Okay, so, and this one's still in its packaging. You ready? This one needs a lot of work. I've got a lot of staining on there. I'll still, I'll wash them and see whether the staining will come out. Otherwise, it'll go with the staining because I think the staining makes it. You ready? Look at that. Look at that. So, as I said, yes, there's some marks on there. I will have a go because I I want to be very careful with them. I'm assuming that they're glaring because of all the, all of this. But look, oh, hang on, come off. Look at that. I keep that. Um, but aren't they just so beautiful? Aren't they just the most divine thing? And they're so light, so, so delicate. And the embroidery, yes, it's machine embroidery, but. Couldn't you just see some of these tucked out of pockets? So they were my awesome finds at an op shop. Now, my other finds were at an antique shop. And I'm trying to stay away from the antique shops at the moment because in a couple more weeks, I've got an antiques and collectibles fair that I'm heading off to to find some wonderful things because I missed it last year. Right, so I found, and you know I love newspapers. I found this one. And I haven't, oh, yes, here we go. They're not in great condition, but they're in awesome condition for what I want. This is Wednesday, June the 6th, 1945. How awesome. Look at this. I love newspapers. I have always loved newspapers. The Sporting Terrier Club of Victoria. They smell a bit musty. I will need to deal with that. But then they've been in this for quite a while. They were sitting right at the back, shoved under a whole heap of stuff. And, yeah, it's the ads. I just love the ads in them. So that was June the 6th, 1945. That is the only one I've seen. Let's have a look what the other ones are. August the 18th, 1948. Um, Australian Farm and Stock Weekly. We're very big into these dogs. So, shortage of stock in Tasmania. Mm. So, yes, so I will go through these properly. I will air them out when I've got not much of a windy day. And the last one, 1st of September, 1948. Look at that. Land Girls in England. Oh, my word. Uh, State Savings Bank of Victoria. Can, am I got that in shot? Yep. Oh, just so many wonderful, wonderful ads in these. I love them. Absolutely love them. <sighs> Look at these. Look at these. How amazing. So happy. Um, and I picked the three of those up for ten dollars. Because I was thinking there was no price on there, and I asked him, and I'm thinking, mm, five dollars a newspaper, fifteen. And I thought if he's twenty, I'll think about it. But and I said, How much for these? And he went, Oh, they're missing the sign. I can't find the sign that went with them. Oh, will you do ten for the packet? And I went, Yep, done. But while I was standing there talking to him, and I went, how much are these? <laughs> Look, this is my favourite find out of all of it. I found old game boards. Look at this. So, this is a full game board. Uh, it goes from 1 to 130. Snakes and ladders, or pigs and monkeys. I think <laughs> um, I will try and scan these because I really don't want to use the originals. Um, they are just too beautiful. So I've got three at this size. And he, I, I 
ended up getting a bulk deal and got the lot of them that he had there. There is this one. Am I full in shot? You so need to see this. I wish you could feel them. I really wish you could feel them. They're just, they're old and they're lovely. So we've, yeah, this is a full one as well. One, two, three. And it just goes around this way. Not quite certain of the rules of this one, but I love it. And in the same size, there was this one that goes through. Aren't they beautiful? And then in amongst the pile, there was this one. Now, when I got home, I actually looked and realised this is a full one that is torn. And it is the Tarzan Jungle Map and Treasure Hunt. Compliments of Pepsodent, the special film removing toothpaste. And I thought the best thing about this, we've got, you know, Bad Ford Retreat, Volcanoes, Quicksand, Friendly Village. All right. You ready for winner? The Treasure. Use Pepsodent twice a day. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Again, there's nothing on the back that says anything. There's a little bit of mould on that that I will have to deal with. But if I scan them, and I don't know how I'm going to scan that size, I may take it down to one of the printers and get them to scan the A3 for me, and then I can shrink it. Um, that is just beautiful. I am so wrapped with these, and it was just it was a new antique store that I only just found locally and so happy that I'd gone in there. And surprisingly enough, when I went in there, I realised I'd been following these guys on Facebook for about four years, four or five years, and didn't know where they were. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you the update of all of those. Hope you enjoyed my little haul. It was only a quick little haul. Um, but now it means I can start using them and I can start scanning them and start doing all the rest. But I have shown you the amount of times that I want to show you some wonderful finds, but I want to use them before I've got a chance to film them. So this time I've sat down, it's early Sunday morning, got the last of these yesterday, I filmed them, now I can take them to friends, now I can start using them, now I can start washing and working on those hankies. And yeah. I'll have them all over the place by the time this actually comes out later on. So thank you for joining me for this. Hope you enjoyed those. And until next time, thanks, guys. Bye.